Good day, friends. I have got a super quick lesson for you where we're going to practice the three things every tinker needs to become the best tinker they can be. Start by signing in. Remember, we use our social providers. And once your school Google account gets you in there, click Create New Design. The three commands I want you to master today are aligning objects, and then shrinking objects, and then lifting objects. So let's start with a cylinder. Drag that cylinder out. Stretch it so it's a little bit bigger, so this is just fun. And now click Duplicate to make a second one. On the second one, move it away. Find the little white corner. Hold the Shift key down and push it in just a little bit. I'm not even telling you to pick numbers, just push it in. Pick up the centerpiece and raise it so it's pretty tall. Switch it to a hole. And what we've done now is we've scaled every corner and we've got two shapes. Select them both and this is where the align tool comes on. Align means to line things up. When you click align, there are three ways we can align. We can align vertically, which is goofy, so I'm going to undo it. But we can also align in the X and the Y planes. So I want mine aligned this way and this way, and check it out. All of a sudden, it's going to cut it out amazingly. I want to do one more thing, though. Let's switch to a combination front view, top view. Click on that hole and find the cone. The cone lets us lift it up. Now you can see here I lifted it up 46 high, which is silly. What's awesome is I can click in that box and I can type the number 2 and I can press enter and now it is 2 above the bottom of the group. Select those two again and then group them and check it out. We have made an amazing little, let's call it a cup or a hole or a swimming pool, super simple. So your job right now is to pick three more items, do it real quickly with a box, maybe do it with a cone. Let's scroll down and see what other cool items there are. Bet you'd look interesting with a pyramid. I know it'd look interesting with a polygon. If you are feeling advanced, you can do it uh, with the parabola, but do it backwards so that the hole is underneath. So remember again the steps, and I'll do it with the cube. Duplicate. You could do Control D. Move it to a different spot. How about let's this time? Let's pick a different color. Grab the shift key and one corner and shrink it a little. Make it taller so it's easy to hold. Switch it to be in a hole. Draw a box so you're touching both of them. Click a line, center it, center it. Click somewhere else. Click the cone, and when you lift the cone up, lift to wackadoodle numbers, but then type the number you really want. I'm going to make mine one millimeter above the ground this time. And then finally group it and be super proud of A, the cool object you just made, B, the skills you just mastered. Duplicating, aligning, grouping and lifting via the cone. That lifting is super important as you build. When you've got at least three cut out, turn on your call light so I can come check it. And the first five people that have three cut out, they get a Panther pride slip for the day. If you wanna click this box right here and name this, three things we must master. So that way for the rest of the time that you build, you'll always have those skills. While you wait for me to get started with other stuff, you can help your neighbors be successful as well. Maybe try and do the trick with a heart, a star, a tube. Be crazy. See what kind of cool things you can use this skill to make. Have fun. If this movie helped you at all, please click that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Last but not least, if you have the opportunity and have a question or a comment, please add it down below. Have a great day, friends.